Hi darlings, welcome to a new video here on my channel. This is a first. I'm starting my stand-up video in a swimming costume and it's not because it's roasting outside but it's because today I am packing for our trip to Ibiza where I will probably be by the time you watch this video. I wanted to share this packing routine with you. Firstly, to share with you all the really fab outfits that I have to wear on this trip, to hopefully give you guys some outfit ideas on what you might like to wear and how to style various things from your summer wardrobe on your upcoming trips or days in the sunshine, and also to hopefully give some tips on how to pack, and I'm gonna say this now, this is not a video on how to pack light because I'm at the point where I might even book myself a second suitcase. Bear with me, we are going to Ibiza for three days for a holiday and then three days for work. So we're actually going out with a videographer and photographer and I'm gonna be working my little socks off and shooting a load of content while we're out there. So this is not a way of packing light because it's, it's just not gonna be that kind of holiday. <laughs> Having said that, I don't like to pack things that I'm not gonna end up wearing. So for that reason, and I'm sure I've mentioned this before, I like to plan my actual outfits for every day. So that means I need to really know what kind of things we're doing. I obviously need to know what the weather is gonna be like. It's gonna be hot, it's gonna be blue skies, yes. But I need to know what kind of things we're going to be doing and what kind of places we are going to be visiting so that I can plan my outfits accordingly. While we are there as part of our kind of holiday time we're mostly just going to be going to the beach going for nice lunches and relaxing and then we're going to be going to some slightly smarter places and more kind of stylish places when we are going to be shooting so with that in mind i'm just going to get started by sharing with you all of the outfits that i'm going to be wearing in ibiza and where i plan on wearing them to so let's get started Oh, by the way, so format wise, I've left the rail behind me, as you can see, clear because I'm going to hang everything up as I create the outfit. And then on Monday, it's currently Thursday, on Monday, and we're flying super early Tuesday morning, I will fold all these pieces and put them in my case. I don't want to put them in my case earlier because first it gives me a little bit of time to look at them and think, hmm, yeah, actually I'm going to swap that for that. And it gives me time to be a little bit more flexible and change my mind. Um, but also it means that these things aren't going to be crushed down in a suitcase for too long a time. I will be taking with me my steamer, but um, yeah, for now, these items are just getting pushed to the side and the rest of the rail is going to be my Ibiza wardrobe but I'll also share with you um, all the details like bags and jewellery which I will put to the side now ready to get packed and everything that I share with you and outfits that I show you will be linked down below and the way that I like to pick my outfits on a day-to-day -day basis while I am abroad is by looking through an album in my camera roll so every outfit that I put together I will take photos of right down to the shoes and the jewellery sometimes even the lipstick I do take the planning of the outfits very seriously and then when we know what we're doing that day I can just flick through my camera roll and choose a perfect outfit that way I don't have things that don't pair with anything um, I can really maximize wearing different things in different ways and it just means that I'm not like oh this shirt goes really well with these shorts but I wish I had that bag from home because I've already planned the outfits and I already have all the accessories to wear them with okay so let's get started so this is the first look that I was wearing um, to introduce the video and this kind of outfit will pretty much be what I live in in the daytime so I've got a bikini on this is from the H&M love stories collaboration I think it'll look great in Instagram photos but also because the top is this kind of um, bandeau style it also works really nicely for tanning for me a white shirt like this one is so important to take with you on holidays it keeps the sun off your shoulders during the heat of the day um, allows you a little bit more modesty like if I wanted to just stand at a bar chatting with a friend I'd probably be more comfortable being like this as opposed to um, just in my bikini so this is an instant first outfit so I need to think about the shoes that I'll be wearing when I've got my swimsuit on so I've just been to grab some shoes and to be honest the ones that I'm pretty sure I'll be wearing the most are my I think they're called the Lupe shoes from H&M uh, no they're not they are from Dune and they're obviously really Good dupes of the Hermes sandals. I find them great because you can just slip them on and off. Perfect for just sliding onto your feet when you're at the beach. 
and I have worn these on quite a few trips in the past. They are a little bit battered, they've got a few scuffs on them, but it really doesn't bother me. But then I've also got my little Chloe sliders. These are not quite as comfortable, but I'm determined to wear them in. It might be a little bit too much of a clash with the Chloe writing and the pattern on the swimsuit. So I'm gonna give them a try and take a snap of the outfit combination that I think works best. Bag-wise, most of the time at the beach, I will probably want a basket bag. I have the amazing Loewe basket bag and this is the Paula's Ibiza edition so it just seems fitting and this will fit all of my beach essentials inside. So I think this is going to be the first complete look for our trip so I'm going to take a snap and get it all up on the rail. So I've just swapped out the white blouse for this pair of shorts and I'm determined to get as much use out of these as possible so I'm going to be styling them in a few different ways to put together different looks for the trip. I thought the bandeau bikini top worked really well because I did want to have a little bit of skin showing here just to really accentuate the trimming on the shorts, I think that's a really nice detail. The fact that they're high-waisted means that I feel like this is an outfit as much as it is a beach look. For days when we are at maybe a beach club I think this is going to be a really nice look. Once once again, I can style it with the Loewe basket bag and the sandals, so that's a really easy thing to switch in and out. Same bikini and another look. So this next outfit, I really wanted to take my Zimmerman jumpsuit with me to Ibiza. I bought this, I think I actually got this way back in January when we were about to go to the Maldives. And it's one of those pieces that I love, but I want to get as much wear out of it as possible. And the times when I can wear it in the UK, I feel, are a little bit limited. So instantly knew I wanted to take this. I have layered up my necklaces because we have quite a big neck area to play with. And I do plan right down to my jewellery as well. Earring wise, I haven't actually put any in. Maybe you guys can help me decide. I picked up some lovely jewellery from Topshop lately, so we'll have a play around with the earrings in a second. Other accessories, I've gone for, I've had to tilt the camera up a little bit because I've got my castagna wedges on to give me a bit of height. I feel like with a jumpsuit, as you can see in the mirror reflection, just gives me a bit of a height boost and I just find the wedges are the perfect match for this because they're not too smart. I think the places that we're going to in Ibiza are quite bohemian and relaxed and I don't really want to be wearing any stilettos or things like that. Mixing with the raffia look of the wedges, I've also got the fabulous KU bag and I think that this will be a really nice evening bag, a real statement bag. I'm going to be taking a dust bag as well that will keep all my essentials from um, firstly being on display and also from falling out because it does have little holes in it. And I think this is better as an evening bag than a day bag because it doesn't actually fit that much in. It's definitely more of a posing bag than a practical bag. And because the sun is still pretty strong during kind of golden hour, I do still want to have a hat with me. So I thought my straw um, ring hat from Mango would be a really nice finishing touch. And if it is still bright, then I won't need sunglasses. And yeah, I just thought that looked really stylish. So let's ditch the hat for now and look at some earrings. If it's too warm to have my hair down, I actually had my hair in a low bun for an event last night with these earrings. Maybe it's too much with all the necklaces. What do you guys think? I love earrings with gold and hanging pearls. I think they look beautiful. Maybe with my hair up, these will look great, but definitely going to take them with me, but maybe, maybe not with all the necklace action going on here. These ones are a little bit more subtle. I'll put them in so you can see. They're from a brand which I believe is pronounced Ruiffier. They also have a matching necklace, but I really like this necklace combination. Not sure how well you can see, but it almost looks like a gold paperclip with two hanging pearls, and I think they look so elegant. Yeah, I think they're a really nice finishing touch for this outfit. If I wanted something a little bit less pearly, I have this pair from Topshop. I thought they looked quite like a Missima pair of earrings. Love the little hanging spike. These could be really nice for wearing on the beach as well, so I'll definitely be taking those. But yeah, I think for this look, these earrings are the best, so I'm going to snap this outfit and get it on the rail. So I wanted to see how this next beachy look would look with my hair tied back because when I'm on the beach I can't stand having my hair on my shoulders or on my back or just in my face so I've scraped it into a low bun which is exactly what I would normally do on the beach and I've popped uh, this pair of high-waisted shorts with my swimsuit because that's probably how I'll style, style it when going from the apartment to the beach and when we go for lunch, things like that. I will have my white shirt in my beach bag as well so if I feel like I do need to be a bit more covered then I can do so. But this is a combination I think will work so well in Ibiza. I think it's nice and stylish. There's still 
lots of like skin on show so if I do want to get a little bit of colour obviously I will have a high factor sun cream on um, but yeah I'll still be able to pick up a nice bit of colour. When I do go to lunch or if we end up wandering around and I'm wearing this outfit then I will probably stack the necklaces up again. Both of these are really affordable so I'm not going to be too worried about wearing them in the sea. I don't like to be too precious with my jewellery so yeah these are from high street retailers everything will be linked down below. I've used a silk slip hair bubble because those I find just so practical and they don't damage my hair but I will also have some invisibubbles in my beach bag because I don't want to wear this in the sea. High-waisted white shorts I'm also taking as you saw earlier the Zimmerman, Zimmerman ones um, but these ones are from Topshop so a lot more affordable and I find that I wear white shorts so much on holiday it's good to have two pairs and then I finished with the Chloe sandals because I'm just desperate to get these in as many looks as possible. I think I might try this look with a hat as well so I would have to have my hair down with a hat probably oh that is quite cute actually with the loose finish of the hat that is such a nice look for poolside posing and going to lunch wandering around town if we go into any restaurants things like that a really really chic outfit for wearing on the beach and beyond so I've gone for this really cool kind of wicker backpack because the colour on the hat and also in the shoes is a little bit darker. A lot of my other straw bags are quite a light straw colour whereas this has a couple of different shades in the kind of wicker effect. Plus if we are going to be exploring, I think this is a nice outfit to like wear around town as well, then I can just pop this on, the, on my back. If we're getting a bike anywhere then again I can be hands free. So I think this is... A really nice finishing touch to the outfit. This next outfit is such a classic for summer months in general but especially when you're going abroad on holiday. I picked up this dress again about six weeks ago. Um, I took it with me to Morocco, I wore it lots there, I took it with me to south of France and I wore it lots there and it really is just the most perfect, versatile, timeless dress for taking away with me. It's this beautiful white, really lovely lightweight material. It's got some kind of stitching, embroidery detail, cinches you in at the waist, lovely long length. It is perfect for mooching around in the villa, it's perfect for days exploring town. If you need to be a little bit more covered up, if you're going anywhere religious, then it's perfect for that as well. You might want something just to cover up the neckline a bit more, depending on where you're going. I've kept the double necklaces on, I think I'm just going to live in this necklace combination. Uh, but then I want wanted your help with the earrings because I have two different, very different price point uh, options. So this pair you may have seen me talking about recently from a brand called Chan Lu from Net Porter. I absolutely love them. Beautiful hanging pearls. I think maybe I would ditch the shell necklace. Um, yeah, and maybe wear my hair up with this in the evenings, maybe our first night. This could be really lovely. But then, with these in mind, I saw these for £12.50 from Topshop and thought they were remarkably similar. They've still got the hanging pearls, they're not quite matching, and then they've also got the kind of gold coins as well. So these are Freedom from Topshop, and I thought they gave a very, very similar finish. But maybe given the detail around here, I should go with something a little bit closer in and not so long. So this is a pair, actually these were from Topshop as well, a little while ago, hopefully they're still available. Um, so they're not quite so long. I think actually these could be a really good, oh, I'm missing the butterfly, pinch the back from another pair. So these could be a really nice, not quite so hanging option. I finished the dress with my Chloe uh, mules, I just love those, really good investment for the summer. And then I will probably grab I'm definitely just going shell overboard here, but shells on the hat and shells on the bag. Maybe it's too much. What do you guys think? Maybe I'll go for a shellless bag. You see, it's actually not that easy to mix and match straw accessories because this colour straw is a different colour to the straw on the hat. Hmm, Prada basket bag maybe? Oh, oh. This looks so cute, but I just don't know if I'm going to take this because it is quite boxy um, and obviously quite hard to pack, but then maybe I'll put this and the backpack, the rattan backpack that you just saw, filled with things and I'll put that in my hand luggage because this does look really cute. Another reason why it's fantastic to try things on before you go is that if there are any alterations that need to be done, you can do those while you're at home instead of having to take your needle and thread abroad. So I've remembered that the um, lining, the slip of this, actually is far too long on the straps. So what I'm going to do on the back is just make a little cut here and then reduce them in length by about an inch so that I don't need to worry about 
anything being on display while we're abroad. So I'm going to put this one to the side or put the lining to the side so I can do that outside in the sun in this afternoon. So taking one white dress on holiday with me is definitely not enough. This is a more affordable high street version of a white dress, one which I equally love. It's got a slightly lower v-neck and this really lovely detail where you can see the skin showing through a little bit around the lace. I do want to switch up the jewellery so I'm going to see what this looks like. Okay so I wanted this one to be styled a little bit differently to the previous white dress so I have gone for some different jewellery. I tried I tried the long hanging Topshop earrings, again with the same necklace. I put my hair in like half up, half down, that way it's not going to be in my face. And I thought I would style with some sunglasses, because obviously I will be wearing sunglasses pretty much all day, every day, and maybe also my hat. The ring hat works especially well with half up, half down hairstyles. I don't know whether to keep this necklace on or go for something a little bit different, perhaps my dupe of the Celine initial necklace. I promise you this video is not sponsored by Topshop Freedom Jewellery, but I just think that they are having such a good season. I got this one um, with a J, obviously for my name, and I thought it was a really fantastic one to wear to the beach again, and just a way to really elevate your summer outfits. I think if you choose your jewellery well, then you can really make your outfits look like they've got a bit more of a luxe finish to them. That is so typical, I'm just singing the praises of affordable jewellery and as I try to get it out of the packaging, it's just broken. That is such a shame. I am going to take the J off the chain though and put it on another chain because I don't have time to go and return this before our trip. Okay, so with the help of my trusty jewellery making pliers, fun fact, I used to make jewellery that looked like fast food when I was little. I've made like burger and chips bracelets and love heart bracelets and things like that. So luckily I had a mini pair of pliers up in the loft. With them and a pair of tweezers, I have taken the charm of another bracelet, um, necklace rather, and popped the J on this one. Managed to find another yellow gold chain that matches the charm. Just as I'm telling you guys how great affordable jewellery is, it breaks that is so typical but let's be honest the charm is more important than the chain and it still gives the desired effect so the full look with the straw hat I think actually it sometimes looks nice with a little bit of hair showing as well I can't remember if I was talking about a specific bag earlier but to be honest any of the bags will go with this I think this is a really nice day out outfit so a really big bag like the Loewe I think will be absolutely perfect so you've got the initial necklace the hanging earrings hair half up half down hat bag and then I've also got the Chloe sandals on again but if I do want something flat then the Hermes dupe sandals will work absolutely perfectly. So I've got another day outfit, day to night outfit to be honest I'd happily wear this in the evenings as well especially with the jewellery so we are we're on a good roll. Okay so if I am honest with you guys this is pretty much how I will look a lot of the time when we are there. This is my throw on beach outfit, super easy, don't need to worry about getting pictures, just a really practical throw it on outfit. This is also fantastic for putting on in the hotel room or in the apartment, but it's just the easiest thing to wear. How many times can I say the word easy outfit? So this is one of my tanning bikinis. It's a Melissa Odebash um, brown bikini that I've had for a couple of years. I think it's really flattering and also doesn't give me crazy tan lines. This is a white brodery shirt dress from Zara a few months ago. Then a pair of big sunglasses and simple jewellery. So I've kept on the initial necklace and I've swapped the hanging earrings for the little ones which have the little spike on them. So just a really simple chic outfit. I like how it's got the little bow in the middle here. So really easy to pop on. You don't even need to do the buttons up because you can just cinch it in around the waist. And then I've popped on the same dune sliders because they are my go-to poolside or beach shoes. Once again, I'd probably style with the Loewe bag or any other straw beach bag or if I'm just nipping down to the shops or if I'm nipping out somewhere, just wanting something smaller and a little bit more stylized and I could grab the mango fringe bag. But yeah, this for me is a go-to and something that I'll be wearing on repeat during the holiday. This is a really similar outfit and one that I would wear for similar occasions but it's just an item that I can't go on holiday without because I know that I wear it so much. It is basically a really simple long linen dress in plain white, turned up sleeves and a tie around the waist. This I find myself reaching for first thing in the morning so what I'll do is get up 
probably go and do a workout um, and then shower, put on my SPF, put on my bikini and then I'll want to put on something like this just to mooch around, have a coffee, just decide what we're going to do for the day. It's one of those really easy relaxed pieces. I'll also wear this in the afternoons when the sun's starting to go down, maybe it's losing its heat a little bit, or I just want to cover up and still look really chic. It is one of those beautiful timeless pieces. I think I got it from the RK Bennett sale a couple of years ago. I will try and find um, something similar to leave it linked down below. love the fact that it's got pockets. It's just it's just one of those classic pieces that I love wearing on holiday, again with the simple jewellery. So this is something that is most definitely coming in my suitcase with me. I think as well as casual occasions I could dress this up uh, perhaps with more dangly earrings and one of my more statement bags and heels. So let's try a combination where this is a little bit more dressed up for dinner. So because I am the world's biggest poser I have put it on with this ginormous hat. I would, I'm going to be totally honest, I would take this hat with me to sunset drinks to take some really cute photos and then I would probably take it off because as I think I've said in previous videos I do feel like a flying saucer when I wear this but I think I do actually really really like this hat and it's just ASOS own brand um, and it, it's actually surprisingly easy to pack if your suitcase has a side as big as this. Then I put it with the KU bag, I've still got my hair bobble around my wrist, pop it in the bag and the Chloe sandals just to jazz this up. I think a lot of the outfits that I'm taking with the right accessories can be dressed up and down for dinner, which for a normal person would probably mean that you can pack less, but because I have so many different outfits that I want to wear and I want to photograph, I'm not gonna end up taking less, but it is good to know that I have different options on how to dress things up and down. Next we have another evening look and I just absolutely love this dress and I think it's gonna look Gorgeous when I have got a natural tan. I'm also going to be taking like a nice body shimmer with me so I can just really enhance and highlight the décolleté area. The colour of this dress is what drew it to me instantly. I love the fact that it's off the shoulders. I think that's a really nice look on holiday. With the pearl jewellery I've mixed this beautiful organic kind of pearl chain necklace with the Chan Lu earrings. I think these are just so timeless and elegant and I can't wait to be wearing these like all summer long. I've gone for a slightly more casual bag to mix things up. This is the Topshop one with the shells. And then I've also got a pair of Topshop heels on, little white heels, strappy sandals that I actually can't walk very far in. So hopefully it'll be a case of arrive to the restaurant, take a couple of photos, sit down and um, not have to do too much walking. But yeah, a really lovely evening outfit that I will very much look forward to wearing once I've got a nice tan on the trip. Next up is this fabulous little combo and I thought this could work really nicely if we have a little bit more of a night out. We're not going to Ibiza for the partying side of the island but if we do go somewhere a little bit more lively then this could be a really nice option but also a really nice really chic day outfit. It's this little um, two-piece which I got from ASOS but I did buy it um, maybe a good like four months ago but I will try and find it or something similar to this and link it down below because I'm sure you guys are going to love this as much as I do. It looks very Zimmerman-esque. You've got the the trimming which I keep going on about in all of my other videos which really reminds me of Zimmerman but it's just such a gorgeous little combo. So you've got this crop top and then a high-waisted skirt which comes to just above the knees. I've actually paired it with some flat sandals and I think I might actually see how this looks with a hat. So maybe for a daytime look I've got it with the Aquazura hat and the little Topshop bag and I think this is a really sweet combination and definitely an outfit that I can take from day to night. Perhaps I pair it with a little bit more shell jewellery as well but for now I've just got this same jewellery on as the last outfit that I showed you. And then from a Zimmerman inspired outfit to an actual Zimmerman dress, this is going to be the one that I wear on, I don't know which evening, but whichever evening I feel is going to be the most smart and occasion wear-esque evening. It's a full length dress with the most beautiful ruffle detail over the sleeves. You've got the little uh, trimming detail that I keep talking about, really beautiful detail around the waist as well. And it's just the most fabulous long dress that is so perfect for wearing when you're on holiday. I think with a tan, this is just gonna look even better. I've kept the long earrings on and then I've paired it with a shell necklace. Maybe the KU bag with this, I'm not sure. Maybe that's Maybe that's too big and a little bit too much detail. I might take my Chloe um, bracelet bag with me, which is a beautiful metallic colour, and then that just adds to the dressed up look of this outfit. But it's something that I've been wanting to wear for a special occasion for a while, so I feel like taking it to Ibiza on one of our lovely evenings there is going to be the perfect first opportunity for me to wear this. 
And finally, I say finally, but I have to admit I have actually done a River Island order and a mango order, so there might be some additional pieces sneaking in. Um, but finally, for now, I have this beautiful white dress, which I think is in the sale at the moment, but I got it a couple of weeks ago or months ago from Reese, and I just feel like I haven't worn it enough yet, so I definitely want to take it with me to wear either as a day dress or most probably as an evening dress. I think with my hair in a ponytail, I probably would wrap my hair around the band of the ponytail to make it a bit smarter. Um, dangly earrings, let's be honest, probably my sunglasses as well, and then when the sun goes down I'll put the sunglasses on my head. I think this is just a really straight, um, a really lovely dress for wearing in the evenings and it doesn't take up too much suitcase space. I have to say, I've only got one, two, three, four, five, okay that's not really, not that many, um, but five pairs of shoes for me I think is not too many and yet I think they work perfectly across all the looks. Obviously I will also be taking my trainers and two workout outfits with me, but I feel like I've not got too much stuff at the moment. I'm going to try really hard to resist the temptation to throw everything in at the last minute because sometimes I panic that I've not got enough outfits and I end up throwing so much in, but I think I've got not too many outfits, but I've got quite a lot of accessories. I've got pretty much a different straw bag for every outfit that I'm wearing, plenty of jewellery, so there's going to be lots of mixing and matching going on, but that's exactly the look I wanted to achieve. Before I finish, I'm going to just share with you how I take my jewellery with me because I have mentioned quite a lot of jewellery pieces. So this is my jewellery pouch and if you open it up you can see first of all I've got like a collection of pearl hair clips on the side. I'm still oops, obsessed with pearl hair clips. I've got a selection of bracelets in here from my Pandora bracelets to some Monica Vinida charm ones. I've got a little Topshop shell bracelet and then all the jewellery that I've shared with you today will also go in here and it's stored nice and safe. You can zip it up um, and everything is just kept all in one place. I will try and find this or something similar and link that down below for you as well. I could go into the hair things and the beauty things that I'm going to be taking with me as well, but I feel like this would just go on for too long. So I'm going to end the video here, but I really hope you've enjoyed looking it through my kind of thought process and a few of the outfits that I'll be taking with me on our summer holiday to Ibiza next week. Of course, stay tuned for the vlog to see how I style these outfits, where I wear them to, and any additional things that sneak into my suitcase as well. I will be vlogging pretty much every day and creating lots of fashion content for you as well. So make sure to also have a watch of my Instagram stories and keep an eye on my Instagram page for so much Ibiza and holiday fashion content. But that's all from me, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye! Don't be a stranger